This is how to use open broadcaster software to stream on YouTube. Now you can either follow along with the video or go to the description where I've broken down the entire process step by step. So go to your YouTube video manager, click live events, new live event, set it to private, on type click custom. Now YouTube does require that you have some title and time before you can move on to the next window. Now click create event. Now this is the part people seem to get caught up on. On basic ingestion down here, select a bitrate. The bitrate you choose will be based on your internet speed. If you don't know what your internet speed is, go to speedtest.net. You don't have to download anything, you don't have to sign up, anything. Just go to the site, click the test button, and it will give you this information. I'm going to assume you're not internet savvy. So if you're not, the only number you care about is the upload speed. So for example, mine is 4.5. Now take that upload speed, go to this graph. I have a link to this website in the description. Match your upload speed with upload speed in the graphs. So for example, mine's about four and a half. I'm gonna fall somewhere in here between 1,015 to 2,000. So for me, I'm gonna choose 2,000. Since I, I have a decent internet connection, you can take that video bitrate, which is 2000, select bitrate. So I fall somewhere between streaming at 720 and 480. I have streamed at 720 steadily, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna stream at 480. Once you click that, you'll see some more options pop up. Make sure that your select your encoder option is on other encoders. Now move over to your OBS settings, encoding, here on your max bitrate options, make sure that matches the bitrate that you've chosen from the graph. So for example, I chose 2000, I typed in 2000, click apply, move down to broadcaster settings, mode should be in live stream, streaming service should be YouTube, this next one should be primary YouTube ingest server, whatever you have typed here in playpath slash stream key, delete it. Now go back to YouTube, under stream name, highlight, copy, and paste that in there. Apply. Next, go to Advanced. Here in this area that says Custom X264 Encoder Settings, if you don't have that check marked, do check mark it and replace whatever it says in there with K E Y I N T equals, then this number will be double what you want to broadcast at. Let me explain why. YouTube wants keyframes every two seconds, and I want to broadcast at 30 FPS, so I have to set it at 60. If you're a gamer and you want to broadcast at 60 FPS, you want to put this at 120. So this will be up to whatever you want to broadcast at. If you're not sure what to broadcast at, just do 60. 30 frames is pretty standard on YouTube. Click OK. Now you can set up your scene. If you don't know how to do that, just play around with OBS to get familiar with the software. Click preview stream. This is exactly what people are gonna see when you start streaming. Now, when you have that all good to go, hit stop preview, go back over to YouTube, click the live control room tab. Up here it will say we are not receiving data from your encoder. In order to change that, you want to hit start streaming. Once you hit start streaming, the stream status, no data will change, give it a few seconds. And don't worry, this is not going to start feeding anything to your subscribers. They won't see anything yet because the video is still set on private. The stream status has changed to good and it's streaming at 480. And just as a note, this area that says the health is good, that's kind of like a life bar for your live stream. If you start dropping frames or you have any other issues, it will tell you in real time here in this area. So next you want to hit preview, give it a few seconds. YouTube will start getting information from OBS. Now this part can be a little iffy. This window that says preview, click play here. Now you should be able to see everything here that you're recording with OBS here. Sometimes YouTube isn't able to load this. I don't know what's wrong with it. It just, oh, okay. Well, it worked this time, lucky us. Now public view, since, since you have the video set on private, this almost doesn't matter right now. So you wanna go back up, hit start streaming, okay. There, now you are live. But because you're still on private, they can't see anything, so go back to info and settings, click public. Once you hit publish here, then it will go into your subscriber's subscription feed. 
So go back to the, the live control room and to make sure that everything is good to go in the public view where it had the countdown before, click play and they should be seeing what you're sending out with OBS. Now to make sure again, you can actually go to the actual live stream page, the view page where the, the chat is. And there, now you're streaming on YouTube with OBS. I tried to make this as quick and concise as I can without fluff. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know if you liked it or not. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time.